the ghost of a guilt-ridden nanny who allegedly saw a child die in her care during the Second World War has been spotted in an Oxfordshire bed and breakfast, experts believe, during a ghost tour of the historic area. An outline of her spirit is thought to have been captured in an eerie photograph of Langsmond House in Thame. The house, which was built in 1924, has previously been listed on local websites as a hotbed for paranormal activity where guests reported hearing footsteps and ghosts clearing their throats. It is the first time the ghost has been seen on the property but guests have mentioned others in the past, its owner said. Michelle Morris was taking part in a paranormal investigation in the house on Halloween when she heard activity upstairs. The 42-year-old said, I was outside with a group of guests and we were investigating the grounds. We decided to head towards the house and when I looked up there was a lot of activity on the top floor. That's when I started taking photos as I knew it was something paranormal. The student decided to take a photograph of the building which is when the ghost's outline appeared. Another man says he heard a child whisper in his ear, I fell out a tree and I think it was the ghost of the guilty nanny, she added. It is one of the few sightings Ms. Morris has experienced since taking up ghost hunting last year. I'm fascinated by what is out there and whether there is anything for us after death. I love what I do and this photo makes it all worthwhile. Mariana Ben, who owns the property said she has experienced paranormal activity in the house but knows nothing of the death of a nanny. I have lived in Langsmond House since January 1988, the record holder of all the residents since 1924 when the house was built. There are definitely unexplainable ongoings, but I have not heard of a nanny and a dead child falling from a tree. I have searched for the names of all the previous owners and only the first one who commissioned the building at the time could not be traced. If any fatal accident has happened here, then it must have been in the first three years of this house's existence, she said.